each one of us. Uh, Dr. Parajay, I'm going to ask this question to all three of you. What makes a great medical practitioner? What, in your opinion, is a what would you define as a great medical practitioner? And how would you ask the youngsters who are there to become great medical practitioners? What would you define that, in your opinion? And then we'll ask the other two as well. Ashok? Yeah. So, so this is a very important question. I mean, uh, it goes through my mind. Firstly, I do not like the wordings of great medical practitioner. See, greatest of all times, okay, you say, can say in tennis, the guy who won 21 grand slams, so he's greater than the guy who won 20 grand slams, who's better than the guy who won 17 grand slams. So those are greats. We can only talk about good medical practice. And I'll just give the perspective for the youngsters. There's nothing like greatness in, in, in medicine. <clears throat> Let me tell you that the greatness is not ours. If you, it's your perception that we are great. And that's why we're sitting here talking to you. But this greatness could go away in a split second. If I was actually climbing down the stairs and I slipped and I fell and banged my head, I would be a vegetable and I would be no more great. It would have gone in a split second and I would be a forgotten individual. So it's the perception you give us which calls great. So let's say what is a good doctor? And what's a good medical practitioner? Firstly, of course, he has to be a good man. And I'm very clear, good man, comes before a good physician, just like we said, who's a good cardiologist? He has to be a good physician first, and then a good cardiologist, and then he becomes a good interventional cardiologist. So firstly, it's a good man. And I just say, there are four C's in my mind, which actually make, which encompasses a good practitioner. Now I want everybody who's listening to understand these four C's and remember the four C's in their lives. It's care for the patient. You actually believe that you would be taking full care because the trust that he put on you. It's compassion that every time you actually converse with a patient, even it's in the middle of the time, night, you can say five words which can answer his question, or you can say five words which say, Yehi time gaya tha, at 12 o'clock at night, you're asking me the question, why couldn't you do this tomorrow? That's the difference between compassion when you could have used the same words to actually answer his question even at 12 o'clock at night. That's a patient, a patient's relative talking to you. And I always strictly follow this even at 1.30 at night. I'm not talking about the phone. I'm talking about when I'm in the hospital and they want to understand everything. There's competence, believe you me. Good practitioner has to have competence. And they have to upgrade, continue to upgrade their knowledge, upgrade their skills, making sure that they're delivering the best to the patient. And that's the third C. And the fourth C is conscience. It's conscious, conscience that makes you do ethical practice, which makes you give evidence-based medicine, which actually makes you do the right thing so that you can sleep peacefully at night. If we develop these four C's in, us, in our system, compassion, care, competence, and conscience, we would have actually encompassed being a good not a great, being a good physician. Because believe you me, greatness has flaws. I mean, I will tell you that greatness comes as a byproduct of four things. And they, again, you can take this as a take home message from me. It's truly a byproduct of four aspects of your life. You will become iconic and you'll become great. And that'll be a perception, but there are four aspects that I want you to remember. And the first is of course, you've got to be passionate, you've got to work hard, you've got to be ethics, you have to have a character, that's all said and done. But it's also going to revolve around sacrifices of your close family members, whether it's your wife, spouse, husband or wife, spouse, children. Just like Jamshed, you said, they hadn't seen you while they were growing up. There was people who were sacrificing them so that you could become great, isn't it, at the end of the day? This is an important aspect. Your parents sacrifice for you to become great. So that's an important aspect. The better you do for your patients, you get more blessings. And I believe your third point is you get so many blessings. We are lucky that we are in a profession where every day, just because of what we do as a part of our profession, that we get blessings of thousands of patients every day. There is no other profession which gives you this opportunity and this privilege of being blessed 
And that's the third reason why we can become great. And the fourth thing is do not forget God. I am very spiritual that if you walk out of your house and say, God, please do everything right for my patients today. Everything I touch, it's your results. And when you come home and you just say for five minutes, God, thank you for what you've done today. You saved patients' lives because you made me do the right things. Believe you me, we become great because he willed that we would be great. Otherwise, we would disappear in a split second and be no more here. It could just be my hand bashed in the door by a driver, which will stop me doing these angioplasties. It happened to me once, by the way. My arm actually got frozen for a few weeks that I had to give up angioplasties. 15 years ago, it made me realize that I could be a nobody and my greatness could be gone by the will of God. So we are sitting here being great because somebody willed it. We can say it was luck. We can say it was right place at the right time. We can say we owe it to ourselves. But believe you me, there is a God above. And let's be spiritual also about everything which happens in our lives. Thank you, Ashok. Thank you for those words. Uh, I think we are very lucky to be doctors. There's no question about that. The, 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 in spite of whatever people say, I think we are held in very high esteem uh, by our patients. Uh, maybe a few uh, fight against us or have them, but I think the majority of times we've had an extremely good relationship with our patients. Uh, we get their blessings every day. They put their life and their full trust in our hands and we should continue to uh, maintain the trust that they give us. I think being a good human being is extremely important. And please don't forget compassion and empathy because without compassion and empathy, your skill is of no value. Uh, I think it's a combination of being a good human being, empathy, sympathy, uh, uh, understanding the patient, looking at the patient's safety as the first thing. And I think that's much more than being a great so-called doctor. So I think we've had a wonderful one and a half hour session. 